Hi guys, this is Allie with Cruise Blog. I just got back from 48 Hours on Celebrity's newest cruise ship, and here are 10 reasons that I already can't wait to go back. So I was lucky enough to spend 48 hours on board Celebrity Cruise's newest cruise ship, Celebrity Beyond, and I already can't wait to go back. As a longtime Royal Caribbean cruiser, this was my first experience on sister brand Celebrity Cruises. As a first time Celebrity Cruiser, I left the ship wanting more time to explore everything that the stunning ship had to offer. So here are the 10 reasons why I already can't wait to go back. And the first is Celebrity's remarkable design and attention to detail. From the moment we stepped on board, Celebrity Beyond's overall beauty immediately differentiates her from any other cruise ship. While some cruise ships feature a small art gallery tucked away on the lower deck, Celebrity Beyond has a whole is its own work of art. Celebrity collaborated with world-class designers and artists to create an eclectic, modern, and trendy atmosphere on board. There is no doubt that it shows. Every corner of the ship displays some sort of art. The attention to detail is unlike anything that we've seen on a cruise ship. And as someone who doesn't even particularly love art, my less-than-creative mind was really wowed by Beyond's design aspects. For instance, the obligatory onboard buffet might not necessarily be the sexiest part of a cruise ship, yet Celebrity found ways to make the space feel open, warm, warm and inviting. Entering the Ocean View Cafe, you'll find velvet pink couches, Edison bulb lamps, wicker lighting fixtures, and floor-to-ceiling windows. Nothing about the space feels cramped or crowded. Not to mention, you can indulge in world-class cuisine that makes my go-to cruise hot dog look pitiful in comparison. I could go on and on about the beauty on board Celebrity Beyond, like the marble tile in our stateroom, the gleaming chandelier in the Grand Atrium, and the real greenery that we found in Eden. Number two is the dazzling entertainment. Celebrity Cruises is known for offering top-of-the-line entertainment on board its cruises. In fact, Celebrity Beyond has taken the award-winning entertainment from earlier Edge class ships and amplified it. Unfortunately, with just 48 hours on board, we were unable to fully experience all of Beyond's entertainment options, and that's just one of the reasons that I already can't wait to go back. My next reason is the seemingly infinite dining choices. There's only so much eating that we could do in 48 hours, and trust me, we try to indulge as much and as often as possible. With 32 dining and beverage venues on board, it was impossible for us to try everything that we wanted to. And in actuality, trying all of Beyond's 18 different restaurants on a full-length cruise would be a difficult feat as well. The ship features four main dining rooms, Tuscan, Cyprus, Cosmopolitan, and Normandy. These each offer their own exclusive dishes while still serving the same standard nightly menu across the dining rooms. The second evening, we were excited to try Le Petit Chef, which is a cute dining experience that featured an animated show projected right onto our plates. We indulged in a four-course meal, which included a tomato tart, a burrata salad, and braised short rib. We also dined in Ocean View Cafe, the onboard buffet, for breakfast and lunch. We tried the pizza park, and the famous European-style Café Al Basio for coffee and pastries. I wouldn't say that pizza was my favorite, but Beyond doesn't strike me as the type of cruise ship that would pride itself on having the most amazing pizza. Instead, the international cuisine options available like the lamb, tagine, the paella, and the butter Indian chicken is where the ship really shines. Our first night, we managed to squeeze in happy hour snacks at the Craft Social Bar with truffle fries and baked brie mac and cheese. Both were excellent. We found that Celebrity Beyond had some of the best desserts that we've ever had on a cruise. From the freshly scooped gelato to the strawberry creme brulee that was torched right in front of us, the delicate desserts reveled pastries that we could find in a Parisian patisserie. This barely scratches the surface, though, of the dining options on board Beyond, and we would certainly try as many other dining venues on a future cruise. Now let's talk about the solarium and the resort deck. Cruising is synonymous with sipping a cocktail on the pool deck. The top deck of a cruise ship is a classic gathering spot for relaxing and connecting with the sea, along with hosting events like a sail away party. As with everything else on board, Celebrity Beyond took things a step further by amplifying its top deck so much that it ditched the classic pool deck name for a more fitting title, Resort Deck. This outdoor space has an outward facing design and an asymmetrical pool deck to create a luxurious outdoor space. And the always popular solarium is an adults only space nearby with a covered pool, which is perfect for cooler destinations. Padded loungers and booths surround the resort pool deck, which illuminates with neon lights each evening to create quite the spectacle. The resort deck also features a jaw-dropping sculpture of an elephant balancing on the back of a man, which is something that you simply can't miss when you arrive on the ship. 
And of course, the nearby rooftop garden is the perfect space to gather with plenty of seating that's bordered by real life trees, plants, and greenery. This space was a first for Edge class ships and made even more spacious on Celebrity Beyond. The next reason I want to go back is the myriad of craft cocktails and martinis. In 48 hours, we took one for the team and we tried as many cocktails as possible while still maintaining our sense of professionalism on board. As I'm sure you can understand, this is one of the toughest parts of our job. With such little time, we squeezed in as many drinks to try as possible to ensure that we gave each bar on Celebrity Beyond their chance to shine. Each bar on board has its own unique ambiance and cocktail menu to create a unique experience. As we boarded Beyond, we were mesmerized by the Grand Atrium, which really is the heartbeat of the ship. Located under a massive chandelier is the Martini Bar, which is a celebrity staple on board that serves up some 20 different martinis. The bartenders even put on a high energy show with impressive martini tricks and stunts that will leave everyone roaring with applause. We tried three really delicious martinis here, including the Snowflake and Bananas Foster. We would have loved to spend more time here listening to the music, watching the skilled bartenders perform, and sipping on classy martinis. We also enjoyed cocktails at the Sunset Bar and Magic Carpet in the evenings, which both gave really stunning views of the sea. In fact, Sunset Bar, which is located on the back of the ship, reveled a Mediterranean-style beach resort and made for the perfect happy hour spot. We also tried the Fig Cocktail at Eden Bar, which is located in the beautiful and open Eden space, and drinks at the World Class Bar, which is a beloved venue that was welcomed back on Celebrity Beyond in the Grand Atrium. Both of these cocktails were very well done, but also very strong. The presentation at Eden makes a visit to the bar worthwhile in itself. Needless to say, I will stick to drinking water in the meantime until my next Celebrity Beyond cruise. Number six, let's talk about the exciting itineraries. While Celebrity Beyond is a destination all on her own, part of the cruising experience for me is exploring and visiting global destinations. Celebrity Cruises continues to differentiate itself from sister brand Royal Caribbean by offering itineraries that feature exotic and unique destinations like India, Peru, Dubai, and even Antarctica. During our 48 hours sailing, we only disembarked the ship to try out Celebrity Beyond's launch experience, and we technically didn't dock anywhere. Though through destinations, Destination Gateway on Deck 2, we were able to board the ship's very own luxury tenders and launch from the versatile Magic Carpet. By night, the Magic Carpet is a beverage venue and bar, and by day, it serves as a tendering launch for Celebrity Beyond. However, one of my favorite aspects of cruising is connecting with new destinations and ports throughout my vacation. There's a connection and a sense of home that's created with a cruise ship when you disembark, spend all day immersing yourself in a new culture, and then returning back to a cruise ship as sort of a home base is a really important aspect of cruising for me. And I can totally see Celebrity Beyond becoming a very cozy place to return to each night. Celebrity Beyond sails in both the Caribbean and Europe, and I would love to see how she shines as a home base during a full cruise sailing. Number seven, the retreat is a luxurious resort within a resort. Let's imagine that I win the lottery and suddenly have more money than I know what to do with. In this fantasy world, I would book one of the penthouse suites on board Celebrity Beyond with access to the retreat. During our 48-hour cruise, we stayed in an infinite veranda cabin, but we had the opportunity to tour the retreat, and we also watched the naming ceremony inside the retreat lounge. I'm not one who typically could afford staying in a suite, but the retreat makes me want to buy a lottery ticket just so I could experience everything that it has to offer on the on chance that I win the lottery. The retreat is advertised as the most luxurious vacation in the cruise market, and it redefines the suite experience. The retreat is the largest suite area on any celebrity cruise ship with three decks on the front of the ship dedicated just to sweet guests. The retreat features private butlers, unlimited premium drinks, a private lounge, two-story sun deck, private pool, and an exclusive dining venue. And in this fantasy world, I'd be staying in one of these world-class suites and cruising in the retreat. My eighth reason that I loved Celebrity Beyond is Captain Kate is the heart and soul of the ship. Although I knew Captain Kate was Celebrity's very own celebrity, she truly embodies the heart, soul, and the elegance of Celebrity Beyond. Captain Kate is the first and only female captain from North America, and she really lights up every room that she walks into. While Captain Kate can command a room from the captain's chair with her Louis Vuitton heels, she can also garner applause and cheers when she stands on the martini bar and pours a flight of drinks with a blindfold on. This really happened in front of us on our second night, and there's nothing Captain Kate can't do. The next reason that I can't wait to go back on Celebrity Beyond is the trendy, adult-centric onboard experience. 
You won't be finding water slides, splash pads, trampolines, or zip lines on board Celebrity Beyond, and for good reason. That's because the ship is designed with adults in mind, particularly people from Gen X to baby boomers. While Celebrity is growing in popularity with aging millennials, it was a first for me to cruise on a ship that's been designed almost entirely with adults in mind. Royal Caribbean is known for its family-friendly ships that feature a little bit of something for everyone, while Celebrity focuses on a more relaxed, elevated, sophisticated, and luxurious experience. Scavenger hunts are replaced with chocolate and wine tastings. Water slides and trampolines are swapped for open aired spaces like sunset bar and rooftop garden. This type of adults only experience is entirely new to me as a cruiser and I would really like another opportunity to see what an entire cruise on beyond has to offer for an adult experience final reason that I would love to go back is the personalized and attentive service. Because our 48-hour sailing was a hosted media event, it was difficult to really gauge on the type of service that's offered on Celebrity Beyond. While the crew was working tirelessly as they usually do, the sailing was so short and it was a totally different type of clientele than normal. While we normally enjoy getting to know our stateroom attendant and our dinner servers, we were shuffled around so much during our time on board that we didn't have any opportunities to form relationships with crew members. And in fact, we didn't even meet our stateroom attendant and we didn't see him once, although our room was promptly cleaned twice each day. Having this type of connection on board is important because it creates a more personalized and attentive experience when cruising. With such short and busy sailing, the crew didn't have time to showcase this aspect of Celebrity Beyond. I would anticipate the service is top-notch given the quality of everything else on board, and more time on Celebrity Beyond would certainly allow for more time to create those connections. All right, guys, that's my honest review of my experience on Celebrity Beyond. I think I might become a new celebrity cruiser, and I'm really excited about some of the cool itineraries that they have to offer. I'd love to know in the comments below if you've cruised on Celebrity before, maybe what your favorite ship is or the best itinerary that you've been on. Thanks for watching today, everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe to Cruise Blog so you can be notified every time we have a new video. Thank you so much and happy cruising.